Good morning and welcome back everybody. Uh, we're going to start machining some copper molds today. I'm just getting the machine all powered up and ready to go. Machine's all honed out, ready to go. It is time to put your safety glasses on guys. We got that all roughed out. The next thing I did was I loaded a half inch ball end mill in there. And I'm going to take and program this to just take like five thousandths of a time. Take about three thousandths more down. And we're going to try to get all the cutter lines out of this and make this mold nice and smooth. Something I noticed when I did my aluminum mold was that I could see these cutter lines in the molds and the aluminum went after I poured it. say mirror finish. It looks a little better than it did. If you don't see the machine tool lines on it and stuff now. Yeah, I think that'll work for pouring copper. Well, I kind of like it, but I think I'm going to bump it down another 15 thousandths and run the program one more time. See if I get a little deeper lettering. So, I'm going to run it one more time. I'm not going to record it. And we'll see how it looks. Alrighty. Not a lot of light is there, but I think molds, the uh, copper molds are all made. I got two extra molds here. I think I'm just going to leave them blank. Pour regular bars. We're going to try doing a little copper melt. Well, welcome back everybody. Uh, it's a few days later. Been kind of busy with holidays going on and deer season around here. So I haven't really been able to get down here to shoot a lot of video. But I did finish up that mold that I made. And I did not have my camera down here when I decided I was going to melt some copper and do a little pour. So I'll show you guys that here in just a second. So anyways, here's the mold. I got two of them engraved with the word copper in them. And two of them I just decided to leave blank. And here is the one piece that I poured. And I didn't have a lot of cop copper in the crucible. But I decided that I think I'm going to just remelt this. And re-pour it again. See if I can get a little better piece. A little pitted on the back and stuff. Well, I'd say the top. This would have been the top side of it. But I was a little low on the amount of the copper I had in there, so I'm going to do a remelt. And we're going to pour this and see how it turns out.
All right, got my two ingots poured. Didn't have enough to pour the second one. Something kind of interesting to me is right in the middle, it's very, very gold colored. You see it more on this one than that one. But I'm really curious, because I tried to melt some gold down in that crucible. And I'm wondering if there was just some in there and it came out with the copper. Don't really know. I'm going to try buffing these up on the wire wheel a little bit and see if they clean up and see how they look. It cleans up pretty nice. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. Please like, subscribe to the channel. Tell me what you think. Tell me my mistakes I'm making. If anybody's got any advice on how to get that pitting out of the backside and make them smoother, please let me know. And we'll see you guys on the next video.